Hello everybody. I would like to talk about the deep desire. I have used this concept in some of my previous videos and uh, we have exchanged with some of you on this topic in the comment section uh, and I said that I will do a video on this topic. What I would like to do is to outline first in a bit more detail what I mean by deep desire. Secondly, I would like to describe why it is sometimes a bit difficult to connect to our deep desire. Thirdly, I would like to propose some simple tools how to access it and then outline why it is important for our career strategy. So, what is the deep desire? I would say it is a source of energy that is coming from deeply within us. In that sense, it is like oil that is coming from far below the surface of the earth, uh, except that the deep desire is very specific to each one of us and it has a direction, it has a purpose. In that sense, it is like a vector that is a source of energy that has a direction. Now, why is it difficult to connect to it if it is so important for us? Uh, what I would uh, first like to point out is we said it is coming from below, so it is a bit hidden and we need to find a way to access it. But secondly, we have a skilled incompetence that is making it more difficult for us. This concept of skilled incompetence has been defined by Chris Aguris in a book on organizational learning, and I will put the references uh, below. Uh, basically, what it means is that we have become so good at problem solving that we have become a bit incompetent in our ability to connect to our deep desire. Uh, when we wake up in the morning, we have the agenda of the day in our mind and probably we know what we need to achieve in the uh, weeks and months to come. But we have difficulties to connect back to our deep desire. And this is why I would like to propose a few simple ways to access our deep desire again. The first is introspection. And we can use leisure time for reflection and introspection. Uh, those who are practicing meditation, of course, that is another great way uh, to, to, to do so. Uh, but there are many moments during the day, uh, maybe when we are playing sports, maybe when we are under the shower, maybe when we are just relaxing, when we have these daydreams. And these daydreams go in the direction of our deep desire. Therefore, I would suggest paying attention to them. Usually we don't, we forget them straight away. If you pay attention to them, and maybe if you explore them a bit further, if you open a few doors that, 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 that are there maybe, uh, that is a good way to, uh, to accessing the deep desire. Secondly, I uh, would suggest to think about what are you good at? What, what do you enjoy doing? What have you always been doing maybe better than others? Not in a competitive sense, uh, but uh, what is a natural inclination that you have? Something that doesn't cost much effort, but that you have a talent for. This uh, is usually also connected to our deep desire because uh, we, we like what we are good at. And uh, I would therefore suggest exploring that route also, and again, opening a few doors in that direction. And then thirdly, you might have noticed that kids are usually uh, pretty clear about what they want in their lives. When you ask them the question, they can tell you what kind of jobs they want to have, what kind of life they want to have, uh, who are the people they admire and they want to follow their example. And therefore, uh, it might be worthwhile thinking back at what were those dreams we had when we were kids, uh, because again, that is pointing in the direction of our deep desire.
All of that is very relevant for our career strategy. Uh, our deep desire is actually defining the vision for our career development um, and we should put that at the very center. It will not only help us to define where we want to go and what we want to achieve, it will probably also open up a clearer understanding on what are the steps that we want to undertake in order to get there. Now, what is important to know is that this may take us out of a purely vertical career progression. Uh, that might be the natural pathway that is, that is there, but maybe uh, once you're connected back uh, to your deep desire and once you have put that deep desire back into the center uh, maybe uh, there will be other options that will open up maybe uh, creative potential that you have will be unleashed uh, and uh, all of that might uh, help you to explore also alternative routes but in any case it will help you to have a clearer and more robust understanding on your career strategy. I hope that helps. See you soon. Osium means using leisure time for reflection and introspection. That is the purpose of my videos. Please like, comment or share if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. See you soon.